This unique event occurred during the summer of 2019 when a man saw a giant animal moving in a canal while he was filming his son. The father continued recording and then shared the video on the internet. Shortly after that, the videotape received more than 50 million views. After that, an unimaginable thing happened. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like and share this video with your friends. They were vacationing on La Gomera, which is a small island of the Canary Islands located on the western tip of Africa. This island is widely known for its uncontaminated nature and natural life. This little boy named George was playing in the water looking for small fish. However, he did not think that he would then turn his attention to something bigger. It would be very dangerous to put your hand in water that you have never touched before. Even the city canals in La Gomera have small sharks that can easily bite a human finger. So George's father quickly jumped on him and got him out of the water. But unfortunately, it's too late. The animal didn't just catch George's attention. During the previous few days, George had been watching aquatic creatures with great interest, and now he had the opportunity to play with them. The brain of an eight-year-old child cannot see the danger the same way that an adult's brain can, and this is what makes Ben, George's father, fearful. So he ran to the place where his son was when his son screamed. But George played like he didn't listen and respond to his father's worries. His eyes were completely fixed on the water where all the small fish were surrounding him. That was why he didn't notice that a large and terrifying creature was approaching him from behind. Ben was only 10 meters away from his son. You would think that he would be able to quickly save his son from that distance. But in this case, there was a large channel between the two of them. George skipped dinner to go and play with the fish. Very smart because he told his father he was only going to go to the toilet. Everything will be fine, thought Ben. But after 10 minutes, his son didn't come back. Ben became worried. He went to the toilet, but the rest of the toilet was empty. What should be a memorable dinner suddenly turns into a race against time to save his son's life. Will this story have a good ending? It was only a few more meters before Ben finally reached the bridge where he would cross the canal. He really cares about his son and the dangerous creatures that do. However, for now, an unavoidable thing had happened. George had seen a strange animal, and normally other people would think rationally to walk away while George drew closer. George had done this before, too. Six months ago, he fell from a tree. When his father asked him to get down from the tree, George climbed even higher until he fell and injured his leg. But if a monster catches him, of course, it will hurt him more than falling from a tree. Ben ran and shouted loudly at his son, George! Luckily, when Ben finally found where his son was, he still had a chance. At least, huge monsters that had fins over three meters long were still surrounding George. And George, who had frightened his father, did something unexpected. He looked at his father with a defiant smile and pointed at the giant water creature. Father, look what I can do. George waved his hand in the air and he easily drew the animal's attention. And at that moment, he plunged his entire arm into the water and into the animal's mouth. Ben was completely shocked and his eyes looked like he saw an event he never imagined. What are you doing? Playing with my friend, George said to his father. At that time, the son's entire hand was inside the big mouth of the fish. Ben can even count all of the animal's teeth clearly. He asked his son to hold his hand while he was looking for a stick to beat the animal, but it looks like Ben is talking to a wall because George doesn't listen to him. Don't hurt him, father. Look, he's so soft. Ben looked into the water and saw something impressive. So what is this animal doing here? The gigantic monster, which was roughly 3.5 meters in size, seemed to have absolutely no intention of biting its son. In fact, this fish even looks like kissing his son's arm. George can stroke the head of this fish, and this water creature swims calmly. He looks like you, Ben said to his son. George nodded his head, but now he began to cry softly. What happened, son? He wiped away his tears and explained to his father what he had learned in biology class, that the manta ray, which is the largest species in this classification, can only survive in salty water in the ocean. We have to help him, okay? Quickly, Ben grabbed his cell phone and called animal shelters for quick help. Within an hour and a half, not only protection services arrived, but also helicopters with safety deposit boxes. Suddenly, this event becomes a race against time. 
Every minute a manta ray spends in the canal water weakens it. This lack of oxygen in the water will kill George's friend. Let's hope it's not too late, one of the shelters said with worry on his face. At full speed, a manta ray named George Frankie had been stuffed into a water-filled storage box. Ben and George worriedly get into the vehicle that brought the manta ray to its actual location. And then an amazing thing happened. The journey only took 15 minutes, but it looked like it would take years. However, right after they got to the ocean, they saw that the sailor with the manta ray had landed. The animal is floating in the water, but does not appear to be moving. George was not afraid and then ran towards his sick friend. Frankie! Really touching event. Her tears rolled down her cheeks and touched the poor animal. Frankie, the stingray moved right after hearing George's voice. Looks like he's looking for George. George sat beside his great friend and gave him a hug. One minute later, this big friend swims into the sea for adventure, but still keeps his experience with his new friend in his heart. An event with a beautiful ending.